In this video, we will see how to set up a knowledge chatbot for your company that will use Notion knowledge as the data to answer. I'm currently using it for my company, for our internal processes, and my team is already using it to ask questions that in the past, they would have asked me. And if the chatbot cannot answer it, they will ask it to me and we will add that information into the knowledge base, which is in Notion. Let me show you an example. Here I am in the chatbot and I'm gonna ask, how do I onboard a new client? And here is the response, agent, to properly onboard a new client, they have completed their first subscription payment. Then all of this process. Okay, then communicate with the client, final steps. So it looks like it was the right answer. Now. What is the needed setup for this? Okay, so now let's see, what did I do to set this up? The first thing that we need is to have a database with all the data about how things are done within our business. This is something that I have covered in multiple videos, how to set SOPs up for your company. And these are all the SOPs that I, that I have. So the only thing needed is just one database with the SOPs written inside of every page. And if you think about it, the good thing about doing it this way is that whenever we update the knowledge inside of these pages, the chatbot will automatically be updated as well. Because you may be thinking, well, I can recreate the same in Notebook LM or inside of a GPT, but updating that knowledge is very cumbersome. But since we already use Notion for all of our company, I want that whenever we update this, everything else is updated, including this knowledge chatbot. Because I want to use Notion as the single source of truth for everything in my company. So, okay, once we have this set up, let's do the actual chatbot implementation. And for that, I am going to use make.com. In make.com, there is a new feature called AI agents, which is currently in beta. And in order to create a new agent, we will have to click here, but I'm going to show you how I have configured my process code. This is what you are going to see whenever you create a new AI agent and you will have to prompt it so Make can know what this agent is going to do. So in my case, you're an agent with vast knowledge of all the documentation that Systemify's company is using internally. Your main job is to respond to user queries. First, checking the SOPs and documents database to get the list of all existing documents. Second, try to figure out which document may have the answer the, the user is trying to get. Third, get the content of that page from Notion itself. And fourth, elaborate a response to the user considering that content. You must always do these four steps. Your only input will be the user's query and your output, the response to such query in the following format. Document's name used to build the response, respond to the user's query. Exceptions don't do anything if the user's query doesn't look like a question. If no document looks to have the answer, do not make anything up and say that you don't have the answer. So this is the first thing that we will have to build. In all honesty, I built this uh, using ChatGPT as well. So once this is set up, we need to give this agent some tools. Okay, we can think of agents as people with skills. So me, Daniel, I am an agent and I will have the skill to read a Notions page content or I will have the skill of getting all the documents in the SOP database. We can give it the skill to check my Google Calendar for events or the skill of creating Google Calendar events, sending emails, uh, creating draft, and uh, answering to WhatsApp. So we can build as many skills as we want for each agent. Okay, so how do we set this up? We set this up by going to the scenarios. And here I have built two different folders because I want that all of this is organized. The in, in the first folder, I have the actual agents. And in the second folder, I have what I have called agent workflows. These are the skills that my agents are going to have. As you can see, the skills, they are just separate scenarios inside of Make. So I have here six skills and for the chatbot that I that we were just talking about, I just gave the chatbot two skills, which we are going to see now how to set up. So first I want to build the actual agent and this is the documentation AI agent. And as you can see, the setup is very simple. The trigger for this event is Slack. Whenever a Slack message is written in that 
particular channel, this is going to trigger. And now the next step is going to be the make AI agent. Here we have all the different agents that I have created inside of my account. And here I have added the tools that this agent is going to have. Here they separate between system tools and additional tools. System tools are those that I have added inside of the AI agent dashboard, which is inside of here. These are the system tools. So what this means is that whenever we are going to use this AI agent, that agent will always have these skills over here. But if I am inside of the inside of a scenario, apart from those system tools, I can also give it additional tools. So I will just click here and here I will see all the list of all my scenarios. So I can just have those additional tools over here. So now the only thing to set up here is what is the message that the AI agent is going to receive? Since the AI agent already have the instructions of what he needs to do, here we just have to send a message. Here is the user's query text. So this is the actual Slack message that the user has sent. And that is it. And finally, that last step is to send a message inside of Slack with this text agent and response. I want to use this agent word because this is going to send a message inside of Slack. So if you think about it, a message inside of Slack would trigger this automation again, and it will go again to the AI agent and then the agent will respond and trigger this and this will be an infinite loop. So I'm using the word agent over here so I can filter it here. So the text does not start with agent and like this, this will stop that infinite loop. But now let's see how we have set up these two system tools. Let's go to the scenarios so we can see them. And this is the first one. Get all documents inside of the SOP database. So the agent goes to the whole SOP database, have all the SOP titles, so then he can choose which SOP may have the information that the user is requesting and open it and see all the data inside of that SOP and use that to give us the response. So this is step number one. This is just giving the agent all the SOPs, titles that we have inside of the database. The process here is the trigger of this automation is to get all the documents. So this is a search objects a module from Notion and the trigger is on demand. This means that this automation is only going to run whenever the user, or in this case, the agent triggers it. This is going to get all the documents from my database, because as you can see, there is no filter and the limit is 1000. So this is just gonna get all the database. And here in this text aggregator, I'm going to create a list of all the different documents. Source module is this one and row separator is a new row. So I want that from document to document, there is a new row. So we can run this so you can see what is the output like, okay? So this is the input and the output is just text with all the different SOPs and the document ID. So this is the, the page ID. And this is what the scenario is going to output to the AI agent. So we have to create this return output module. So this is skill number one. Then skill number two of our AI agent is to read a Notions page content. So now think about it. The AI agent has already chosen which is going to be the SOP that may have the answer and now we are going to use this other skill to read the actual page again the trigger is on demand but here the module is list page content and we have set up something that is called a scenario input here we have the scenario inputs and outputs and i have set up to have the doc id as scenario input and it is required and is type text. The AI agent is going to know which inputs this scenario needs to run. So the agent is going to give us the document ID so we can use it in this module over here and get all the page content because this is what this module is doing. And we will get the text aggregator so we can get all the data. This was a little bit hard to, to build, but basically what this is doing is to aggregate with new rows every time all the different types of text that can appear inside of an SOP. So heading ones, heading two, heading three, bullet list, number item, paragraphs, and code content. So building this was a little bit complicated because whenever you run this, we will only get the first line 
of what appears inside of the page. So we can use this variable over here. So I needed to run this as many times as you can see here, placing inside of that page the type of content that I wanted to retrieve. So first with heading one, then with heading two, then with heading three, until I had all the different types of text that I can have inside of a, of a page. And then the output of this is going to be the Notion page itself. Let me run a example. I'm going to run it and I'm gonna give it the document ID manually and click OK. So this one just got all the different blocks of text inside of the page and this one aggregated all to read the actual page. So this is all the process. And now we are using that as scenario output. So this is going to return that to the AI agent so the agent can use this to answer our query. There is one last thing that we have to do and this is inside of the AI agent page. We have to tell make what each of these skills do because this is going to help the agent choose one or the other because this agent is not going to do this in a linear way he is going to think what he needs to do in which order so for that we need to tell him what each of these do so for example read a notion page content okay so this skill reads the page content of a specific notion page and then the other one gets all the existing documents in the SOPs and documents database okay so with this is enough and then we save it so that is the whole setup of a make AI agent. Now you can think of more use cases. You can use it for content creation, for example. So you trigger this from Notion, let's say, and the agent will be able to go to Reddit, to YouTube and aggregate all the data and create content ideas, for example. Or you can use it to generate financial reports from the information that you have inside of your Notion account. But also one thing that we have to take into consideration is that not in every scenario we have to use AI agents because AI agents in Make have to be used for those workflows that are not always linear. Because if what we are trying to automate is a linear process that always follow the same number of steps in the same order, we're better off by using simple workflows. These, these kind of things are something that we are starting to implement in our clients notion builds and i believe that it is something that is going to revolutionize business operations so if you want that we take a look at your operation and tell you what we think you can improve you can book a free audit in the description of this video and we will give you the roadmap to improve them and well that is it for this video guys and as always hasta la próxima